Your mission, if you wish to accept it, is to try to create more than one hyperlink within the same cell. Can you do it? Let's check this out together. Let's start with the first step of our mission, which is cosmetics. We want to color data and Google in blue and underline them to give this hyperlink effect. So I'm just going to click on the cell. I'll go to the formula bar, select data. And here I have underline under home. So I click on it and I can change the color. I chose this color and there you go. This is in blue. Let's do the same trick for Google. So we click here, we click on underline and let's click outside. We are done. Second step, let's add some shapes to cover data and Google. So insert illustrations, shapes. Let's select this one. Let's put it here. There you go. And now I'm just going to go to shape format. I'm going to do shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline. So I can copy paste this, control C, control V. You have another shape here. I'm just going to put it around Google. Let's put it here. Make it a little bit bigger. Perfect. The next step is to make these boxes as hyperlinks. So what do I do? I click on the first box, right click. You have link here and I want to go to place in this document. This is my data sheet. I'm going to go to cell B1, press OK. And let's do the same for Google. So I need to get the link first. This is the link. Make sure you have HTTPS in front of it because otherwise it might not work. So I'm just going to go to the formula bar, control C escape. Let's go here, click on Google, right click, link. And here we're going to go to existing file or web page. Let's paste this here and press OK. There you go. You have the links now. So if I click on data, I go here. And if I click on Google, I will open a new web page with Google. Now there is one problem with this approach, which is if the user tries to change the cell, for example, the weights, the height, etc., then you're going to have a problem because the shapes will stay at the same place they will not be over Google and data. So what do you do in this case? This methodology is good to use in dashboards where things are static and usually users, they don't do anything. So what I could do is password protect the sheet. So you can go under home and then you have format, you have protect sheet. You can put a password. I'm not going to put anything. Let's put OK. And now if you see, I cannot make the width difference. So if I click, I can't do anything. Right click, you see all the options are gone. So now everything will be in its place and I can click and go to my Excel sheet.